Now, back in the 1960s, a young man from Jamaica moved to London and set up a recording studio in Kilburn. His name was Sonny Roberts, and that studio was the first black-owned recording studio in Britain. It was a magnet for musicians from the West Indies for the best part of a decade. And today, on what would have been his 91st birthday, a plaque was unveiled in his honour. Helen Drew went to find out more. Today, African drumming. Back in the 1960s, West Indian musicians playing reggae, ska and much more, drawn to this site. All because of this man, Sonny Roberts. Born in Jamaica, he moved to London in his 20s and in 1961 set up the first black-owned recording studio in Britain. He was a very, very humble person, um, very, very... Um, just an entrepreneurial, you know, he was always never selfish with his knowledge and, you know, a very generous man and, and just loved music, passionate about music and his culture and, and people. Three, two, one, boom! This afternoon, a plaque was unveiled in his honour on Cambridge Road in Kilburn on a block of flats which now stand where the recording studio once was and where he met his wife. To be honoured in this way, I'm very pleased because in the days back then when he started, I mean, life was different, no one recognised certain music and he never gave up. He was persistent. That persistence came in handy when persuading reluctant artists to record. He looked at me, he said, Sam Cooke had that thing in his voice. Ray Charles, had that thing in his voice. And then it, there was a moment, he's looking at me, I'm looking at him. He said, Ruben, you have that thing in your voice. And then the album was, came along. Sonny and many of the musicians who came here were part of the Windrush generation. They left a place that they knew, that they loved. Yeah? Came here uh, mm -hmm. on a promise that didn't match up to what it was first purported to be. And then what he did was that he, he settled and he, he, he made something of, of himself. Dancing in the street, an apt way to celebrate today, which would have been Sonny Roberts' 91st birthday. Helen Drew, BBC London.